Jeremy Hansen here from Fox Valley Tech with another segment of Life on the Farm. And I wanted to talk to everyone today about all these multitude of government programs that we've either applied for already or should be applying for soon. And I really wanted to have um, a farmer's perspective on the application processes and how that's going. And all of these topics have been covered on Midwest Farm Weekly in the past and have given us excellent information. But with me today is Veronica Malig. And Veronica, tell me a little bit about your farm. I farm with my husband and my two sons. We have 150 cows and 100 head of Angus beef. And Veronica, we've been in communication for the last several months on all these government programs. And the first program that was available to us when milk prices crashed and uh, a lot of stress in the industry was the uh, unemployment assistance through the state of Wisconsin. Did you guys apply for unemployment? Yes, my sons did. One got approved and one got denied. Right. I think the uh, Department of Workforce Development in the state of Wisconsin was a little bit overwhelmed, especially dealing with farmers and small businesses. And I don't know of a whole lot of people that have actually got the unemployment assistance through the state of Wisconsin. So next up was our Paycheck Protection Program, came right after unemployment, and you guys applied for that, correct? Yes, I talked to my lender. He was very helpful. He told me to get the paperwork done ahead of time, and mm -hmm. it was all ready to go when the date came up, and he turned it in, and we were approved. Wonderful. And, and our lenders really stepped it up, and yes. they, they got, we got some money for that for our, our, our wages that we were paying on the farm. So very much needed. Then the third program was this Economic Injury Disaster Loan. And did you apply for that? Yes, we did. And what were your results with that? Uh, we got denied. We were said that farming was not a business, so we got denied. Okay. So just to re recap a little bit, um, we got the initial advance from the Small Business Administration of $1,000 per employee on the farm, and then we were uh, could apply for a loan, and, and you got denied the loan. You got the money for the employees, but yes. Not, yes. not the actual... Um, loan. I'm seeing half of the farms pretty much getting denied and half of them being accepted for a loan. So it's, it's not as, all as easy as we think. <laughs> so the fourth program is just recently is this coronavirus food assistance program through USDA, through our FSA office. And I'm assuming you applied for that as well. Yes, we did. And what were, what were your experiences with the application process? Very easy. Lori sat down, we went over the phone, and it was done in a matter of minutes and turned in, right. and we had our payment within about a week. And finally, Veronica, we have our Wisconsin Farm Support Program through the state of Wisconsin. And this is uh, a grant from the state to all dairy producers, or actually all agriculture producers. And this is uh, between a $1,000 and $3,500 grant for, for farms. Have you applied for that? Yes, we have. And how was the application process? It with took that? a matter of minutes online and it was done and submitted and it says you get a payment mid July. Yep, very simple yep. July 15th, starting of yep. payments. We have until the 29th of June to get our applications in, so I'm suggesting everyone sit on the computer and get that in. It takes about, what, five minutes? Yeah, if that, five yeah, minutes. just a matter of minutes. Yeah. So, well, thank you, Veronica, for your insights thank today. You. And very important things that we all should be doing and uh, getting as much assistance as we can. Hopefully, once prices recover here and we get started getting paid for June milk, I think things will be a little bit better, but we were really stressed out <laughs> during, those last, during the last two months. Yes, we were. So, <laughs> so for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hansen.